So Spirit wants you guys to know, like, what's the tea on these people that have been doing the crown chakra and third eye chakra blockage spells? I'm hearing that what they did was really stupid. Uh, you know, they turned up and they really thought, oh, yeah, I got this in the bag. Yeah, no. And so Spirit wants me to go into what happened there. Okay, let's see. What is the tea on these, <laughs> these dumb arse benches? <laughs> benches okay these <laughs> i'm hearing these knockoffs Okay, what is the tea with <laughs> these people that have been doing crown and third eye chakra blockages on this collective? I'm hearing it backfired hard. Like I'm hearing, okay, you may have like kind of, I, okay, I feel like you were trying to give this person the benefit of the doubt because I, I feel like a lot of you guys already knew that this person really wasn't like well versed in like magic and whatnot. And so you were trying to be nice to be like, okay, I'm just going to send this little thing, but I'm not going to send anything big. But it's like this person just kept going, 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 and being very overindulgent. And so now you've been having to pull out the big guns and do things a little bit that like harder and really F this person up. So that way they could be able to learn their lesson. Like I was mentioning at the beginning of the reading for the channel message. So yeah, it's backfiring on them. And they're not doing such a good job of handling because they're fucking angry. They're angry. They talk a lot of crap about you guys. Like, they're always constantly speaking negativity over, like, you and your life. Like, they're way too obsessive with trying to win. And it's like, they won't accept that you're not, like, they're not going to win. And for some of you guys, it's like a thing where, like, you're being moved away from this person or this person's being forced to be moved away from you because it's like they keep trying to knock you off your uh, pedestal, you know, trying to knock you off your pathway and get you, like, caught up in certain things, whether that's, like, addictions or something of that, of that sort. And it's like they're trying to block you from being able to see a way forward or a pathway forward or be able to see what it is that they're doing. But it's like this person, they're trying to do these big daddy spells, but like they're still small. Like they're still beginning. Okay, they're not small. They're still a beginner what it is that they're doing. And like they're, you're wondering, okay, why this person do this? But I do feel for some of you guys, this person decided to do this because of the fact that like they were, um, they were trying to mimic you or be like you. And so they were like oh well you know the collective is a witch or collective like does witchy things or collective spiritual so i'm gonna be like that or oh they dress like that so i'm gonna dress like that or they talk like this so i'm gonna talk like this but it's like it was all fake though because they're just trying to do it to be able to progress forward in their own lives but trying to block you i'm like seeing like children where it's like they're both running but one person's being a cheater and they're trying to like pit different blocks on this person's pathway to help themselves to be able to win you know things that's gonna like delay them and like they're both running to the to the rate to the finish line but it's like you guys are walking a steady pace you're just relaxed and calm but this person is like i have to beat you so i'm gonna try to throw these roadblocks in your direction so that way you can't move forward i i don't want you to move past me i need to catch up to you like no like you know how it is when someone's running and they block you block you with their arm you know it's a thing like that because they're trying to be like no i need to win like i don't want you to win and i i like no i have to win at all costs but it's because this person feels they're very insecure. They're very unhappy with themselves. This, like, it's like they get off on competing with people because it's the only thing that gives their life meaning because they're numb to a lot of their feelings and emotions. I'm seeing a spider right here. Oh, you visited me again. I was wondering if you were still in the car. <laughs> Hi. I'm so happy you're here. Yeah, like... So... For this, I'm mainly picking up, like, you were meant to teach this person about magic, but also about certain laws of the universe, like, a certain lesson. Because, like, a lot of this really was for you to get this person to go within and work on themselves. Um, the, You were the first person this person did this to. Like, they just thought that they had it like you. They thought they had it in the bag, and it was a thing where they're like, oh, well, if I can you know, overtake you or overpower this person, then that means that I'm the ish and, like, I'm a badass and you know, I'm better than this person, but it's because they don't feel like they're good. They don't feel good enough. They have self-worth issues. So they compete like this. 
they don't it doesn't even matter and some of you guys like i'm hearing something where it's like okay it doesn't matter what you have or don't have like this person hates on y'all because like they like like okay it's like they admire you but they hate you like they like the fact that you're really confident in yourself they like the fact that you um are always calm in a lot of different situations like this person could have been watching you for a while but it's like they like the way you handle yourself or situations and so they're trying to be like you but what they didn't recognize is like they can't be like you they can't mimic you um they're they're not able to be themselves because they're trying to be another you and it's like no you need to stop trying to be a clone like the collective and you need to learn to be comfortable with yourself you don't get progression in your life for what you want to do by trying to do what other people want like other people are doing like you do it if you're being called to do it but i feel like this person does this because they don't have an identity so they don't really know what direction to go in so what ends up happening a lot of the time is they'll sit there and like copy off of people and mimic them and try to take on their personalities because there's nothing there because they haven't taken the time to actually develop and figure out who they are i'm hearing on a spiritual level but even like on an earthly level like in this earthly realm yeah this person's in their head when it comes to you guys and like they're they're just like oh my god every single time i try to make a plan it just blows up in my face like i don't know what to do uh, I feel like I should get up, but it's like their ego won't let them. Their ego won't let them stop. It's like they just have to win, but they're not recognizing that they're losing. Like there's a lot of stuff that they're losing one by one in their life in all areas. And it's like they don't even see that because like they're so focused on having to win with you guys. They're just like, no, this isn't over. Like I have to keep going because like I have to win. And it's like you made it your life's mission to try to cause harm to the collective, not recognizing that you were not on the same level as them. And this is not a thing to be cocky, to be like, oh my God, you're better than them. It's just, you have a little bit more experience because of a lot of the training that you've done over the years. It's not to say that you're better than them because of that. You know, everyone has a, when it comes to like the craft or anything new that you're doing, like it takes time to build and to hone that craft and turn it, turn it into something more uh, elevated or expansive. I'm like getting Uranus uh, energy from that. But yeah, like you go with the flow. You're more intuitive. You're an old soul. This person they still have a lot of things that they need to learn and i guess this person thought would be a great experience <laughs> a great experiment to be able to f we i can't even freaking talk f with you guys yeah you guys are unfazed too like you're unfazed you're like ah okay and it's like i'm hearing it's <laughs> it's like a bee a bee buzzing your ear or like a, a mosquito that keeps kind of and trying to suck the blood but it's like you're just like you know on that spot and then it goes like meow, 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 but then it tries to come again and it's like that's how this person is like they're irritating like a mosquito yeah you guys are just you're unfazed you're like Ugh. so this you're just like i'm literally hearing this i'm like Ugh, this bitch again like why you're coming at me again have you not had enough do you hate yourself like you, you just keep doing all this stuff and it's like you're effing yourself up you're not you're not messing with me like what like you just and you're trying to be nice you're trying to give them chances you're trying to get this person the chance to stop because like if you really want it to like enforce your power your will in the whole situation you can really f this person up and i don't think this person recognizes this about you so it's like they got into spirituality because you did or they became a witch because you did or they became a tarot reader because you did or they became like a content creator because you did or they decided to do art because you did or maybe you dress a certain way like i mentioned earlier and they're trying to dress like you like this person wanted to be you and mimic you they mimic everyone that comes in their lives because they don't have an identity what else what, what else is a t yeah they're looking you up some of you guys are trying to look you up online especially for my content creators or they could be looking you up and that's how they're copying off of you like someone watching you from afar this could be like a long-term fan for some of you guys this could be like a moderator of yours like they're secretly in competition with you in some way and you've been wondering if they've been spent like sending spell work and stuff like that at you and i just want to confirm that yeah that is what's been happening yeah they're trying to put a stop to you hustling or you working hard on like your goal or your dreams or aspirations like the actions that spirit's been calling you to take you know you're trying to work hard on that but it's like they keep trying to come in and block things or cause delays but it's like i'm not really sensing them. okay so for some of you guys it's not really affecting you but there are like okay there are others out there where it is affecting you a little bit and so you've had to up your protection and stuff like that but 
um you still have gotten a handle of things you still brought things into balance but it's like this person they don't want to accept that it's over with they don't want to accept that this is done or i think it's just a thing where maybe they haven't recognized that it is because for some of y'all they have not recognized that it's not it's not gonna the ball is not in their court they, they did not win they lost a long time ago but it's like they keep trying to do stuff again and it's like every single time they get themselves effed up like you feel it when it comes in and then you do you have everything that you need to like put, you okay for first for a lot of you guys like you already have wards enough so strong that like you don't really feel anything so you're like okay i'm not worried about this person but for others you might pick up on this person's energy and the stuff that they're throwing at you because the fact that they do it so much and so it's like you've been having to like not just alchemize the energy but you've had to up like your protection and stuff like that because it's the way that this person's been coming at y'all but again i'm picking up like someone you have a moderator they're not a fan of yours like they try to claim like this is someone who's secretly a hater they've been doing stuff to try to cause you blockages have you ever noticed like when you're live streaming when this person comes through or something you start having issues like with your throat chakra and stuff or you, again the third eye and the crown chakra spells it's because this person's like literally looking at your video and then they're just speaking incantations over it but they're doing this ex excessively is what spirit's telling me i forgot what the word endorsement is but i will put it on the screen um but that's the word that spirit just showed me endorsement <sighs> this person was trying to cause you guys to have a bad reputation or this person knows that you have a bad reputation because of all the lies that people spread about you and so yeah for some of you guys this person was trying to spread lies about you behind your back so that way people would give you a bad reputation but it's not who you were oh my god what else is the tea on this person i'm about to get all this energy because i'm freaking annoyed wow yeah they were hoping to get some type of unexpected wealth or money or prosperity from trying to copy you or be like you or steal your ideas and stuff but it's like whatever they were trying to do traveling forward to take action for this this has like been blocked so honestly how i'm taking this is this person could be actually receiving a loss in interest or a loss in uh finances i'm hearing a loss in opportunities as well like their pathway is about to be blocked in a lot of areas like i said but it is already happening but it's like for some of y'all this person's just in denial of the fact that like it's over with it's over and done with that's why they're desperate and they keep trying to find other ways to do things but it's like sweetheart no <laughs> go 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 have a seat go have several seats please no like i don't i don't want to have to f you up really bad that's like what i'm picking up from you guys yeah the bottom of the deck this person was in their ego that much is clear and people realize that whatever lies that they told about you it was only this person making up stuff about you guys and they knew that it was due to their own ego so yeah this person's mask came off they try to block some type of offer or opportunity for some of you guys this had to do with the fact that you're a content creator or the fact that you're, like, you're spiritual maybe you do spiritual content and it's like this person can't fish for comments about you anymore they can't get people to talk about you they can't get people to uh give them information about you it's just not happening anymore you're just like uh-uh even though they're still trying to find you guys they're still trying to like look you up online some of you guys you did block this person and it's like they can't find they don't they haven't realized that they don't have access to you it's like how it is like where you block someone and like they're sitting there talking to you in the void but like you don't see or hear them talking to you and so they keep sending negative comments but like they're gone like they don't exist <laughs> i mean that's what happens on youtube anyway but yeah, this person's rejected. Like, you guys want nothing to do with this person. This person decided to interject themselves into your life. And you're like, bitch, I don't, like, wh who are you? I don't like you like that. Like, why are you trying to infiltrate, like, my life and my energy like that? Like, this is not, um, what is that movie called? Something Body Snatchers. Like, this is not, this, that, no. <laughs> this is not white female is what Spirit's saying. Like, no, absolutely not. This person also got rejected from trying to steal from you guys as well. Because they were trying real hard and now they're running for the hills. Hold on, baby. Yeah, now they're running away. They're running for the hills. But they're trying to act like they're not scared. But they're they're freaked the hell out now because they're like, oh my god, I effed up with this person. I really shouldn't have effed with them. Like, that's what's going to end up coming to them. For some of you guys, they already are going through this. Others, this is going to be happening in the near future. 
um, and they're gonna want you to give them money or they're gonna have to ask people for handouts because they're about to lose everything. Oh, yeah. Okay, hold on. Yeah, because of dealing with un like re dealing with repressed trauma, but also because they have a poverty mindset. But yeah, like I said, they're going to be losing money. And they're worried about this. They are very worried. They're just like, "Oh my god." Like they're trying they may be trying to act like they're unbothered, but they're they're freaking the f out. They're like, "Oh my god." What am I going to do? I have to pay this bill. If I don't pay this bill, I'm gonna lose my home. Like, what if I have to lose my car? What the hell am I gonna do? Like, and so they're gonna be so fixated on those things. They won't even have time to F with you guys anymore or pay attention to you or look you up online to see what you got going on. Instead, they'll be focused on themselves. You guys may have had, okay, so some of you guys, you did become bitter or resentful of this person because the way that they kept effing with you and you're just like oh my god this dumb bitch but you guys decided to let that grudge go and move on you're like yeah i'm, I'm good because like you're like i'm not gonna let this person try to force me to do a, things a certain way or try to force me into a certain energy like you know your energy so well so it's like whenever this person did come up in your energy or do stuff you always knew and like that's what they didn't realize because it's like this person doesn't really know i'm not gonna go into detail what they don't know spirit wants me to keep that secret but for those you'll know what i'm talking about um anyway yeah but you knew they're coming into your energy and it's like you always knew what was going on because of that and like they don't realize that and so they're thinking oh ha 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 i'm being sneaky they don't know and it's like they don't realize you know how to read energy you're psychic like come on yeah that right there what my kids said boo ha ha that's how it is they're trying to force like their will on you but i'm also seeing like them trying to force like or project like their insecurities and stuff like that on you and a lot of anger like you were a scapegoat for them and it's like they got off on attacking you all the time i don't know why i think it's because they know you regenerate i don't i don't know for some of y'all this person's gonna be catching a case I'm not just seeing this as like an STD. I'm actually seeing this as like, they're gonna be having to deal with some law, some legal troubles. Yeah, you weren't interested in this freaking girl fight anyway. You don't have to be a girl for this to resonate. But yeah, like you weren't interested in this petty ass fight. You're like, dude, I know you're competing with me. You think I don't know? You think I can't pick up on the fake vibes and stuff from you? You think I don't know what you're doing? You don't. You think I don't get the downloads? Like God and my spiritual team don't tell me anything? You think that's how it is? Like, no. And for others, like I said, like it didn't even affect you at all. So you were just like, okay, whatever. But you knew what was going on because you received the downloads also. And you just laughed. You're like, ugh, this pathetic little... And I'm not saying that you said that to be mean, but it's just like you were so annoyed with the way this person was acting. You know that there are things that are like much deeper when it comes to like how why people act this way and you know a lot of it has to do with their trauma and stuff so it's like you just, that's why you decided to move on and let it go because you're like i'm not gonna let something like this affect me like that like i get it they're going to do this okay i'll up my protection or okay i'll protect myself but you know someone was trying to get a screenshot of something too someone has a screenshot of this person trying to kiss your your arse as well and people know whoever this is that this person ain't ish and they can't move on because now they have to sit in all the stuff that they did. They also are losing friends too. I want to show you that card before I close this out. I got to get off because I got to check on my little one. Okay, so yeah, they're losing friends. They, um, any dirt that they're trying to dig for, they didn't get it. But also I'm seeing this as like their, um, their skeletons are out of the closet. Okay, their skeletons are out of the closet. For some of you guys, this has to do with child services. Maybe this person turned out to be an abuser to a certain child or children of yours. And that's coming out right now. And I'm hearing that whatever they tried to report on you, like people are realizing that this is uh, false. And I'm seeing something with a felony because of that. I don't know if it's a demeanor or not, but I know you can get into legal trouble for that. But anyway, yeah, they can't get dirt on you because their dirt is out in the open for everybody to see. People got their shovels ready, so they're digging that up, and it's like all these secrets coming out that they did not want people to see. But that's kind of what this person's going through, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off.
sorry you all hearing my little one in the background i hope you guys have a good one thank you for your love support and thank you for the likes cheers comments and subscribes and thank you for those who book services and also donate to the channel and until then i hope you guys have a good one and much love Mwah. i love you